You are watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and we're gonna play Einhander, 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 on the PlayStation uh, Classic. And uh, we all know Square as the developers of a lot of beloved JRPGs, and this is them, them um, trying out um, a horizontal shooter. And um, let's see how it performs in the PlayStation Classic. Show FPS on, and nothing else to be tweaked, just so you can see how it goes on kind of like default settings of the emulator running on the PlayStation Classic. All right, okay. I uh, barely remember this game actually. I just played it a few times. So, anyway, no problems with cutscenes as usual. Let's see what configuration can we do. Oh, let's just go easy. I hope that's okay. Just so we could show more of the game. Right. I um, have no idea what to use between the three. I'll just go ahead and pick out something random. So it's a 3D horizontal shooter. 3D polygon. Polyg uh, it's not like a sprite based. Okay. You get special items, special uh, guns, weapons, but has limited amount of bullets. It's like a spread gun from Contra. I think I'll just stick to the spread. So, as you can see, it's not strictly um, on a 2D plane. So, right now, it's kind of like, uh, what is it, 3 fourths? <laughs> not sure if that's, if that's correct. Um, anyway, you get the, you saw the how it looked like. Since I'm getting so much of these special items, might as well just waste away shooting them instead of uh, saving up bullets. Alright. Uh, okay. Well, that's terrible. One hit and you are sent crashing down and you're sent back to like a checkpoint area of the game, I guess. Alright, let's see if I can do better this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and waste away all my bullets. The lights on the buildings are actually distracting, especially since I'm also avoiding his bullets that, you know, if you're not used to it, I guess you might mistake it for the background there. And I died again. Obviously, I'm no good at this game. But uh, I know this game is held in high regard for shmup fans. I mean, the Sega, Sega Saturn is 
more known for its shmups but this is one of the games that at least PlayStation has to offer Ah, can't believe it <laughs> anyway um, sorry for my performance there on the game but for the game's actual performance on the classic at least I don't see any problems with it. If there is, please do let me know. I didn't notice any slowdowns. Well, actually, earlier I did notice like a screen lag once again. I don't know if that's a normal thing, but um, kind of like my experience in um, Castlevania Chronicles, where the screen would suddenly like fast forward scrolling scroll to the right or something I'm, I'm not sure if I'm describing it correctly but um, basically there seems to be something with the how the game scrolls that sometimes it's kind of there I, I'm not sure if you could notice it on the recording here but yeah I, I seem to notice while playing there is some sort of screen lag so I, I highly doubt that's part of the game when once again I'm not sure and that, that's just something to take note of so please do let me know if everyone uh, if you guys guys have this loaded if you have this somehow the same experience perhaps a little tweaking on the settings can alleviate that but leaving it on default definitely seems to have some some issue here possible issue at least well at least I'm finally getting somewhere seems the color of my ship changed as well or is it just because of the lights to the side view and I got shut down again well I think that should be it um, you're watching 8-bit days a week and sorry about my performance on this game I'll maybe practice it some more and in the meantime please do check out some of my other videos of me trying out PlayStation games on the classic. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.